can see. Only one other filler even vaguely resembles him. It's basically a two-person lineup, suggestive and prejudicial. The victim never even described the perpetrator as having facial hair. The prosecution is correct, Mr. Wallace. The fillers do not have to be exact matches, only reasonably close to the suspect. What would you say, Your Honor, if I told you there was a second lineup? Also with my client, also with complaining witness? I found this in my client's old court file. There was another lineup five days before in which the suspect was not identified? I'm unaware of this. Where's the photo? There was no photo in the case file, Your Honor, which means someone eliminated it. May I please have a look at that? I think you'd better. Your Honor, I have to object to this. Defense counsel's motion for today was on a different issue. I'm not going to deal with that right now. Do you remember this notation regarding the second lineup? I'm sorry, this was almost five years ago. I'd have to go back and check my notes, maybe confer with some of my colleagues. I'd like to subpoena the arresting officers in the case and call Mr. Yamada to the stand under oath to determine exactly what happened here. And now I think I see why we're here. You're putting the district attorney's office on trial. Do you agree with how this was handled, Your Honor? As a matter of fact, I don't. But I'm not happy with your bait and switch today, and I'm not gonna allow you to turn my courtroom into a circus either. Then I'd like the right to depose Mr. Yamada. You can't depose anyone in a criminal case. No, I'm talking about the civil case we're filing. You may petition for that in civil court with your assigned judge. Well, I assume that if I do, Your Honor, you'll allow the deposition to be entered here as evidence, which would help avoid the circus. <laughs> 